what's poppin everyone welcome back to the channel zach lesage here we've previously covered charizard ex with pidgeot ex on this channel in the temporal forces metagame in this case we're gonna be covering over charizard babero which has proven to see more success in japan than the charizard pidgeot crazy i know i wasn't necessarily thinking that myself but i did want to keep everyone updated with one of the top performing decks in japan crushing it at the champions league crushing it at all of the japanese city leagues this is a deck that's really going to be a huge contender for EUIC, Orlando, post-rotation, temporal forces tournament, you name it. If you haven't already, give this video a like, check to see if you're subscribed to the channel, and let's jump into this deck list. Here we have the Charizard Babero deck list, and they're looking very, very standard, very similar to the one that's seen success at the Japanese Championship League, all the city leagues, and the list is also available for copy and paste in the description of this video. Charizard EX is really just meant to get set up here. We're going to be evolving into Charizard EX, using our ability to accelerate energies to our Charizard and really attacking. We have three bosses orders. We have counter catcher. We have prime catcher. We're really ready to just rip into our opponent's Pokemon on top of drawing cards with Bibero. The big question is, why would you play Bibero over Pidgeot EX? In our previous format, Pidgeot EX was the best way to play Charizard um, because Pidgeot could search for whatever you want. The barrel's not as strong as that, but what it has is it's worth one prize card. When your opponent's playing Prime Catcher in almost every single deck post rotation, or it's more of a common card that we have, or more opportunities to knock out Pidgeot EX with, let's say, Iron Hands EX, Cr Iron Crown EX, etc., etc., Pidgeot EX becomes more of a liability, making the barrel the standard choice. We also get to make use of Cryptomaniac's Deciphering, so we're able to put cards on top of our deck and get whatever we want that way, including cards like Prime Catcher, Counter Catcher, etc. This is a really solid list, and if you're planning on going to any upcoming tournaments, get some post-rotation practice in, this one's almost 99% perfect, if anything. So give it a try. I think it's fantastic. And we'll go over each individual card that matters in this deck one by one and go through a whole kind of... Uh, video thing for that in the strategy section so stay tuned we got our awesome video editor dom is going to take care of that for you and let's jump into the strategy of this deck looking at the charizard list we're going to start off with the charmander line we don't necessarily need to worry about lost zone box as much in this format so we're okay with going with the 60 hp charmanders for the majority of them because it could potentially knock out a roaring moony x and with some other damage modifiers like vitality ban maybe it could do some enough damage to knock out a basic grass pokemon or i think this is just a better standard charmander if we don't need to worry about a format where you're playing charmanders to try to knock out a guard of war from chilling rain or anything else like that we still have a 70 hp one in case we run across a sableye but that's really where our main um, difference is going to be coming from um, moving on into our charmeleon line i like playing the new charmeleon with flare veal because your opponent cannot technical machine de-evolve de it your opponent cannot hit it with lost mine and i'm sure there's a bunch of other things i actually went with another charmeleon as in addition so we have two now um, because we are able to play technical machine evolution so the reason why i'm playing this heat tackle one not only are we able to evolve into it with technical machine e evolution on our first turn we're able to use heat tackle and heat tackles enough to knock out a Mimikyu if we're really trying to um focus against like a snorlax matchup with us having a switch and us having prime catcher we might have an opportunity to get around snorlax charizard is really a means to an outs to attack and it's going to be our main attacker. We could always attach energies to our other Pokemon to retreat, um, but we're going to be attaching a Charizard or maybe to Radiant Charizard, depending on what our opponent has in the active spot. I like the Bidoof that we have in this deck with the carefree um, ability so that we're able to um, avoid some bench damage kind of stuff going on with it. I think it's slightly better than the other one, but if you're ever worried, there is a Bidoof from uh, Brilliant Stars that's also legal. Um, as previously explained, we're going with Barrel over Pidgeot EX because of Prime Catcher, Iron Hands getting slightly better post-rotation. Um, just, it's, it's worth one prize card, and we're able to draw um, draw cards every single turn, pairing it with Cryptomaniac's Deciphering or Codebreaker's Solution, depending on the translation, to put cards on top of our deck and really go from there. Jirachi Manaphy Package is going to be quite good because that's going to block Radiant Greninja, block off uh lost lost mine from manaphy now there is a world where i could see us playing the new rabska 
um, coming out in this set. Um, Rabska allows you to prevent all effects of attacks done from your bench Pokemon from damage and from effects. Um, it is a stage one Pokemon, so that is something to consider. But I do think it's interesting enough to kind of play out there, and I could see Rabska being quite good um, in this deck. So we maybe we'll cut off the one Drachi, one Mana Fee for a 1-1 one, one Rabska. We got Squovit. Um, it gives us opportunities to maybe draw a card from Codebreaker's Solution. It also gives us an opportunity to um, use Barrel and draw more cards if we're not already, so it allows you to sift through your deck. Iono, Arvin, Boss are really standard supporters when it comes to a Charizard deck where we either want to shuffle draw our opponents, we want to search for what anything we want with Arvin, or Boss, we want to gust up our opponent's Pokemon. We do have Boss, Counter Catcher, Prime Catcher to gust up our opponent's Pokemon however we like. We have opportunities. And as we've gone over a few times, Code Breaker Solution or Cryptomaniacs Deciphering is however it gets translated. It is going to be quite a strong option in a deck where we are able to draw cards from the top of our deck. New card that we have is Buddy Buddy Poffin. Search your deck for two basic Pokemon with 70 HP or less, and this is mainly going to be the big replacement to Battle VIP Pass. Um, we don't necessarily need to worry about getting it turn one. We are able to search out our uh, Bidoofs, Charmanders, Jirachis, whatever we need to get set up. Rare Candy and Technical Machine Evolution are really going to be where we're able to get things set up as soon as possible when it comes to a deck like this, um, giving us a lot of consistency. And we do also have the Ultra Ball, Nest Ball, Heavy Ball, ways to search out our Pokemon. The rest of this deck is pretty self-explanatory. I mean, we did decide to go with Prime Catcher. There are arguments to be using Maximum Belt when it comes to a deck like this. But gusting up your opponent's two prizers um, that are not Charizard EX are, is quite a strong strategy as well. So we'll have to see how it plays out. I think right now, this Charizard list is super consistent. Um, most of the cards are fantastic in this deck. And when in doubt, we, we have a lot of opportunities to see success with it. So give Charizard a try. Um, if you need any of the cards available for this deck, we do have uh, links in our description for all of our sponsors. Uh, so check that out as well. Let me close things off with this outro. And that's what we got going on for our video today. I hope that you enjoyed learning more about Charizard EX with the barrel. I think this deck is fire. Um, and I mean, I have a lot of expertise playing Charizard. So if you're looking for some coaching, heading into EUIC, Orlando, Indy, any event, hit me up. I totally got some time available. Once I come back from my vacation in Costa Rica, you can check out me at metafi.gg slash at Zach Lesage. Um, covered a lot of Charizard content on this channel before, so get a chance to see some of those, like of Charizard, the Shuffle Squad, whatever. I'm sure you'll find a lot of gameplay there. I don't think this deck's going to be changing too much. Again, the only new cards that we've really added to this deck are Prime Catcher, um, really just gusting up our opponent's Pokemon. We added in Buddy Buddy Poffin over Battle VIP Pass, and we added in Cryptomaniacs Deciphering, um, just as kind of a slight draw. So if you played Charizard before, really not too big of a difference from what we've had before, and I think that's where it really counts a lot. Um, again, this is available in the description if you want to copy and paste this into Limitless Tabletop Simulator to try out some gameplay before the set comes out on PTCG Live. Otherwise, I hope that all your testing in Temporal Forces post-rotation goes well. I'll get to all y'all later. Peace out and have a great one. Want to support the Shuffle Squad? Be sure to check out all of our sponsors in the description to pick up Pokemon TCG singles, sealed, and PTCG live codes. Hey trainers, tired of having too many cards lying around? I know that feeling, and I know what a hassle it is to try and sell those cards. But selling bulk is now easier than ever with TCG Bulk. Find tons of potential buyers in a single place. You just download the app, look for the best buyer near you, and carefully pack your bulk, ship it, and you get paid. It really is that simple. Turn the cards you don't want into the cards you absolutely need for your next deck. You made it to the end. Thank you so much for watching this entire video from the Shuffle Squad. Honestly, from the bottom of our hearts, we appreciate each and every person that supports our content, watches what we have going on every single day, every single week, even from time to time, and uh, continuously allows us to have a forum to project our creative content towards the Pokemon TCG community. So if you haven't already, be sure to give this video a like, subscribe to the channel, 
and even leave a comment to help boost the YouTube algorithm. That being said, we'll catch you with our next video. Thanks again. Take it easy.